Hello, this is Tom from Never Center again. I've got um, a video here to show you the new features in Milo 2021.4. And um, one of the things that if you're a frequent Milo user that you'll notice right away that we've added here is these new dynamic clouds to the um, outdoor environment. Um, and you can see they're moving and these clouds are actually 3D um, volumetric clouds. And so when I move the light, you can see how it's changing the lighting on the clouds. Um, and uh, yeah, so instead of what we've done is instead of um, giving control to a bunch of different cloud parameters, we just made one slider that kind of randomizes everything. We call it remix environment. And so this is an infinite slider. So if I slide it, you can see as it, how it's changing the clouds as it goes. But when I slide it all the way to the end, it resets back to the center of the slider and you can see the value popping up in here. Um, so it's kind of, will keep infinitely going to the right or to the left, but um, it will give you the, the sort of numerical value in here. So you can always go back to a, a remix value that you like. So zero is sort of a nice medium one, but say you just start exploring things and you find that 313.56 is a good one that you like or something. Um, then uh, anyway, that's one way that you can um, you can always uh, click on this and enter that numerically, or just slide this using either the the mouse scroll wheel or um, grabbing this handle and sliding it. And um, anyway, so that's um, how you control these clouds. And like I say, they're dynamic and volumetric. Um, and every value on the slider is different, so it's changing different parameters, but it's changing them basically at different rates so that, you know, you can see it's one of the things that's changing is the height of the clouds um, as they move down as I scroll over here, but it's sort of those, that height kind of goes up and down um, at a different rate than the density of the clouds goes up and down. And there are other several other factors. So anyway, there's, you know, not necessarily huge differences um, yet between these, but um, each one, each of these values on this slider is unique and um, completely different. So um, anyway, this remix environment slider will um, control more things in the future as uh, we add, we can make it adjust more cloud parameters or other things that we add to this environment. But this is just sort of an easy way to control a bunch of things without having to futz with a bunch of uh, individual sliders. And just to show you, this environment also works at night. Um, you can see at night, there's a moon there. Um, and another thing to note is that the lighting is actually uh, independent of the, the lighting on your model, other than the direction is independent of the lighting that happens on the cloud. So like in the daytime environment, you can see um, as it gets more towards night, the light gets warmer but that's not affecting the light that's hitting the model. And we did that on purpose just so that you can have precise control over how the light on your model looks um, to make it match up however much or however much you don't want it to match up um, on your um, the environment lighting. But you can always, you know, make it look nice and matched like this manually. So uh, we think that's really fun and um, yeah, just scroll through these till you find clouds that you love and um, then stick with them or change them or whatever. Um, all right, and then we added a whole new um, environment in Milo 2021.4 called Line Art. And if I go into this one, you can see um, it's basically flat shading the model and drawing, the, it'll always draw the wireframes. And we call it line art um, because uh, you can link different colors in this. So that for example, if I've linked the shape and background color, then whenever I change the shape color, it will change the background color, which effectively gives it like a, um, yeah, a line art. I mean, it's it looks like it's just drawing the, the wireframes though um, they're obscuring, um, it's got Z depth buffering if you know what that is um anyway um so you can um change the colors of 
the line and have that be have the shape and background color always be the same you can link the line and background color and this is they're all three the same right now but if i change the shape color here you can see um, so when i link the line and background color the the wireframes are always going to be drawn the same color as the background um, so you can do pretty cool things see if we can find something that looks kind of neat um, and uh, just playing around with this a little bit um, this background color will always be linked also with these other solid color backgrounds so like the color room um, or the solid color Whenever I change the background color in, in one of these, it will change it in the others. And same with the, the line art one. Um, and then the, uh, let me change this back to like this kind of mango color a lot. And let's actually, let's link the shape and background and make the lines there. Um, and then you'll see the other slider. This is obviously line width. This will just adjust the width of your lines. No surprise. And um, let you dial it in exactly how you like it. So anyway, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this. It's fun to use it with like um, live spin. Uh, and you can adjust these parameters while it's spinning. And that can give you some really cool um, different effects. Um, let's do... Uh, I was like, yeah, kind of black on a color always looks cool. Um, anyway, and you can, you know, obviously render these out, um, do a GIF turntable or a uh, still image. And uh, we hope that you'll find lots of cool uses for this. And we hope you love it. Thanks.